All right, boys, today we're playing The Joy of Creation. Is this some other horror game? Yes, it is, but it's not as scary as you think. Also, man the F up, Joe, you're 80. Why do you sound so tired? Because it's early as heck. Anyways, let's just dive right in. So instead of nights, this game has memories, and each one is different. How do you know so much about the game? Well, I've played it a few times already. What are you doing in our house? Gavin, is the stranger okay? Yes, yes, he's okay. Don't worry, he just seems uh, confused. Uh, ex excuse me, sir, can you tell me your name? Oh, look, man, if you won't talk, I'm calling the police. You can't just barge into someone's house like this. Are you hurt? Do you need any help? Honey, what's going on? I don't know. This man suddenly appeared in our house. They thought it was one of the neighbors, but I don't know. Michael! What? I, uh, I mean, my, uh, uh, my name, it, it's Michael. I'm Michael. I, uh, uh you, you asked me that b before. Uh, <clears throat> Daddy, Michael kind of sounds like you. Excuse me, but just what are you doing in our house? The sun's about to go down. I don't think you should be here. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that. You, uh, you, uh, you, you look a little bit roughed up. What happened to you? I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't remember. Uh, I'm sorry, but, but I just, I, I just don't know. Michael, pick it up. The floor is bad. Daddy, can you help Michael? Nighttime is coming and it would be bad to leave him outside. Yes, can you stand? Uh, I, I think so, a, a bit. I, I just feel a bit uh, dizzy. Yes, dizzy. Come on, man, let me help you up. After that, Dad carried the stranger to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a night. Or at least, while I collected his thoughts. After that, Mom put me in bed. I can't remember much about Michael, but I knew he wasn't a bad person. Or, at least he didn't look, you know, dangerous. I was young, so I guess I just didn't know any better. Certainly didn't know what a burglar was, that's for sure. Um, not that I was implying he was, I'd never talk to him again after that. Well... Except for when the storm happened. That's when I woke up on my bed, and I saw them. Alrighty, let's go. Isn't Barack more experienced, but why can't he play? Because where is the fun in that? Exactly. Don't worry, Joe, you're in safe hands. I honestly can't trust you for crap, Trumpy. So do you want to be on plane? I'm good, thanks. Uh, who's that? This is Michael. He's supposed to explain the game, but you can skip him. What if what he's saying is important? Trust me, little bro. I'll let that one slide, even though I'm almost twice as old as you are. Oh my god, you can actually poop Freddy in this game, too. So, Freddy, that was the sound he makes. He peeks through the window, and to make him go away, you need to close the curtains. There is no Freddy here. Shoot! I'm closing my eyes. Let me know once the jump scare is over. We didn't lose, Joey. Yet. As long as you listen closely to what I say, we're gonna first try this crap. And that is the sound of him leaving. What should I do about the door? Bonnie comes in through that door. He'll knock three times before entering. And you need to shut off the lights and lay in bed on the third time. Well, that was the second one. Where's Chica? I missed her. Shut off the lights and sleep. I'm doing that, but why? Oh, I don't miss her anymore. Shh, she's gonna hear you. Did neither of you hear Freddy? No. no. Well, he's right outside. Don't panic. Once Chica goes away, close the curtains immediately. That was a very close call. Better late than never. Oh, he saw us. Are we dead? Nah. As a matter of fact, you only need to close the curtains at the last second, but the timing is tight, and you don't even know the timing to begin with. I'm pretty sure that was Bonnie walking in right there. Does he have a permit to be here? You sound like Saul. Anyways, if Chica and Freddy both come in at the same time, you can turn off the lights, look at Chica for a moment, and then close the curtains. 
Am I the only one hearing scrapes? That's Foxy. He's a little weird, but all you need to know is that he's gonna show his hook on the bed and after a few seconds, he's gonna come up. When he does that, you can deal with any other animatronic, but don't look at him. And to send him away, you need to pretend to sleep. Can I do the pretending to sleep part? This is so stressful, dude. We should have had Joe do this. But I might pass out doing it. Exactly, I mean, you're 80. Surely a video game won't phase you. We're doing good so far. I forgot to count. Which knock is this one? You don't need to stress it out, Don. The window to turn off the lights and sleep is too long for you to even worry. Mark my words, Donald is gonna capitalize on this and we'll get a heart attack. Are we all gonna share one heart attack, Sleepy Joe? That's dark, bro. Look who's talking. Can you please remind me how to deal with Foxy? Whoa, now you're being racist. I won't tell you until you apologize. If we die here, that's on you. Please just let me tell my kids that I love them. And how many kids do you exactly have, Joey? Um, do I even have kids? Ha <laughs> ha, take that, Barack. I don't need your help. Ah! That's the second one, dumbass. And are we both gonna ignore the fact that Joe denied having kids at all? It's disrespectful to make fun of someone's dementia, Donald. Donald, what did I even say? I don't know, probably something racist. Yeah, Joe, he did say something racist. All right, Obama, I'm sorry for saying that, but can you let me have some of your hypnotizing pills so I can use them next time I need Joe to do something for me? Hypnotizing pills? He's trying to overload your brain by using big words. Don't listen to him. Oh, crap. Bonnie and Freddy, what should I do? Once Bonnie leaves, close the curtains. Hold on a second, guys. I didn't take my pills today. What hypnotizing pills are you guys talking about? I told you to ignore Donald. He's making fun of your dementia. I can't stand this anymore. I'm gonna go take my pills. Just make sure they're not hypnotizing pills. This actually might be the first time Joe took his pills in, like, forever. Yeah, but for real, though, what kind of pills do you give him to hypnotize him? I don't use those kinds of methods. I'm just so incredibly smart that he'll listen to anything and everything I say. So you were manipulating me? Whoa, how did you come so fast? After I took my pills, I remembered how we used to teleport back in the 40s. But you were like eight. How did you learn that at such a young age? You guys used to teleport back then? Yeah, until the liberals protested for climate change. Climate change started in the 50s. How were they protesting it already? They actually started protesting climate change since 800 BC. Of course, you would know. You're pretty much a fossil at this point. The pills worked so well it made him remember stuff before he was even born. I even remember having a pet dinosaur called Obala. Is that my ancestor or something? No, humans don't derive from other animals, you idiot. Well, since you are so smart, why don't you complete this game? Sure, this game is so easy. I already know how to play it. Maybe because I already explained everything? Well, you didn't explain how sanity and keeping the lights on is important. And Donald just kept doing it without questioning. I never gave it any thought. How did you even know that if I didn't explain it? it seems pretty self-explanatory for me. That doesn't even make any sense. That's because you have a puny 3D brain. Mine is already six dimensions ahead. Hold up, boys. I'm gonna go take an entire jar of these pills. Don't. The reason they made me so incredibly smart is because this is my normal form. It'll probably kill you. I'm so much younger and healthier than you. How's it gonna kill me? How can we be certain that we're currently not Sleepy Donald and Sleepy Barack? because I can see that you guys reached your maximum intelligence. How can you see that? It's pretty self-explanatory to me. Is everything self-explanatory to you now? Except how can someone like you be so dumb, Donald? I still can't believe you were making fun of my dementia. Seems like the pills are doing a great job right now. I told you not to take the frickin' hypnotizing pills, Wakey Joe. Aha, the pills didn't make you the smartest man alive. You still don't know how to deal with Chica and Freddy at the same time. I've heard you tell Donald how to deal with both of them at the same time, but it's so RNG dependent. I would prefer risk the timing, since I know it very well, rather than risking RNG. But you've never played the game before. How do you know the timing? It's just self-explanatory to me. How on earth is timing self-explanatory? Your puny minds wouldn't get it. Are we dying? What's going on? No, we're not. This happens every night at... At 5 a.m., a loud soundtrack plays, making it harder to hear audio cues, and all the sound cues become slower and quieter, so I'm gonna need you guys to lower your voices a little so I can hear them. None of the things you've just said happened. Plus, it's 4 a.m. Then that blink was just built up for it. Aha. Not so self-explanatory now. That blink was because we were running very low on sanity. We might even lose to it. Then why did you say that things happen at 5 a.m.? To outsmart Wakey Joe? How can I be outsmarted by a puny mortal? Because you're one, Wakey Joe. These pills won't fix your aging, so you're not immortal. Yeah, it's starting to feel like all of Joe's big talks were bull crap and guesses. No, they all were self-explanatory, except you guys are so dumb to get it. 
You just got outsmarted, Wakey Joe. So anything that seems self-explanatory to you should be to me as well, and nothing here is self-explanatory. That was just an alibi for your guesses. Slow poop. And now you're changing subjects. In my opinion, it's either these pills made him super smart and their effect is just starting to wear off, or he just got lucky so many times in a row, we didn't doubt him. Well, if you can beat this level first try, Wakey Joe, then you've earned the title Wakey Joe. Otherwise, you were just guessing because this part is only for the elite. Foxy, go away. Lights on, I mean off. Look at Chica quickly. Close the curtains. Whoa. Hold on a dang minute. You actually might be Wakey Joe today. And I always will be like this. Not gonna lie, I missed Sleepy Joe already. What the? Wasn't Chica supposed to stun you there? I'm starting to doubt that it is actually an RNG system. You might need to look at her once and that's it. Anyways, you're dead to sanity. So welcome back, Sleepy Joe. I actually have plenty of sanity left and there, from now on, I'm Wakey Joe. I can't believe you actually pulled it off. From now on, we'll be calling you Wakey Joe until we get bored of it. Not gonna lie, I already am bored of it. Yeah, me too. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notifications button. Where am I? Who are you guys? Yay, Sleepy Joe is back. All right, boys, today we're playing the second night in the joy of creation. I really like this game. No, you don't, Sleepy Joe. Wakey Joe is the one who liked it. Who's that? Well, we don't want to see any more of him, so let's not tell him, Barack. Agreed, and let's dive straight into the memory. Who's playing this time? You know what, Joe? Since I played last time and Barack already played the entire game before, you can play this one. Yay, wait, I forgot that this is a horror game. I don't want to play anymore. Don't worry, Joey. I'll be coaching you through it. On the TV, you can see Freddy and Foxy. You you need to pause one of them so the other one comes first. When he comes, you need to hide behind the door he's coming from. Is that it? How lucky do you have to be to get the easiest level? I don't care if it's the easiest or the hardest. I want mommy. Man the F up, Joe. You're an effing grandpa. And this is only the beginning. The level gets harder as you progress. I feel like Freddy is right outside the door. Nope, he's still in the beginning of the hallway. Let's just fast forward this part real quick. Wait, let me check. They move super slowly in the beginning, Sleepy Joe. You don't need to worry that much. I'm gonna blindly trust you, even though he seems to be right outside the door. Just get up and go hide. We could play it safe now as we're still in the beginning. Just know that you will need to be cutting it close further in the level to win. I ain't no wussy. Ah, he's so close. Hey, Joe, if you win this game first try, I'll give you 500 bucks. Easiest 500. Well, I'm gonna be taking the controller. Thank you so much. Since he somehow keeps coming back, we shouldn't worry about him anyways. Once you go back to the couch, you should pause whoever is furthest. Right now, that should be Freddy, as he just got resetted. Who comes from this door? Bonnie, you'll hear four footsteps before he opens it. Same deal, you get up and hide behind the door. What do his footsteps sound like? Trust me, you'll know it, but as a heads up, it sounds- Hold on, should I worry about that? No, it's just some ambiance, and Foxy is getting a bit close, so play it safe. And back to Bonnie's footsteps. They sound like a dinosaur robotic bear thingy. As I've said, you'll know it once you hear it. Who should I pause once Foxy is gone? Foxy, and once Freddy is gone, pause Freddy, and so on. Basically pause whoever just opened the door. What on earth is this? That's Bonnie. I wonder how you didn't know it, even though I gave you the most detailed description possible. Is he gonna open the door now? No, that's the first step. He opens it after the fourth. Which one should he pause now? Whoever is furthest. In this case, Foxy. We made it to 1 a.m. Why do hours feel like hours in this game? Can we just let that sink in for a moment? What are they supposed to frickin' feel like? Minutes? Anyways, that's the second step. Boy, oh boy, I hope I don't pass out again. Maybe he should have taken his pills today? I'm pretty sure tolerating Wakey Joe is better than losing Joe forever. What were you guys saying again? That you haven't taken your pills today, go take them right now or we'll lose you forever. Oh, since when do you guys care about me? Since you became president and we became the first suspects if something happened to you. Thank God you reminded me of that, Don. I'll have to cancel my plans tonight. What plans? Yeah, I'll have to cancel mine too. Anyways, was that the second or the third footstep? I actually lost track. You can look through the keyhole after Foxy goes away, since at most it will be the third. What if it's the fourth and he opens the door while you are checking? No, we're pretty sure it's not the fourth one. It's either the second or the third. Don't check now. That could have been the fourth step. Everything went quiet super quick. Yeah, it's for the suspense. Can you go and make sure he doesn't get sidetracked while going to take his pills, Barack? Sure, but why are you waiting for Freddy? He's still very far away. I would like to play it safe. We're too far into the night, I don't want to lose now. You might be able to get away with it this time, but this isn't sustainable. If you keep on doing this, they'll eventually both come in at the same time. 
I know, but because of Bonnie, I lost track of where Freddy is. And I'm pretty sure you did too. Well, there he is. Let's go now, Joey. Go where? Let's go take your pills. Why would you take my pills? Yeah, why would you take Sleepy Joe's pills, Barack? He said it could eliminate you from this world. Let's go so you can take your pills, Joe. I can't believe Obamna was trying to be wakey Obamna. What did you call me, Don? Um, Foxy is here. Also, how on earth did you come back so frickin' fast? Did you think we were going to a pharmacy? We literally went to his room, which is not eight foot longs from Subway Far. Why do we keep on measuring distances with foot longs from Subway? They are literally a foot long. Is he nerdy Joe today? Wait, Barack, Bonnie isn't there. Where did he go? Chill out. That means that he's still on step zero. Which means he's lurking in the shadows. Woo. Not gonna lie. Wakey Joe is better than nerdy Joe. Stand up, quick. What the heck was that? That was Chica. To make her go away, you just need to stand up. Which step was that? That was the third step. You can count on me this time. I would count on a potato-powered calculator to run Minecraft more than you, nerdy Joe. Well, he's actually right. It is the third step. I don't trust either of you. I'm gonna wait for him to peek. He would have peaked by now. Don't wait for him too long. Aha, he's gonna jump scare me now. Nope, that's the third step. And as I was saying, don't wait for him too long or you won't have enough time to make enough of a difference between Foxy and Freddy and we'll have to restart the night. He's gonna open the door now, right? Nope, that's still the fourth step. Didn't you say he opens after the fourth step? What I meant by that is that he opens on the fifth step. I would suggest not going to the camera right now as Foxy still needs a lot of time to reset, so it would be useless. And I have a feeling that Bonnie is gonna move for the fifth time now. Joe, you're a genius. I mean, you're a frickin' nerd. Is it just me, or is he taking a little longer than usual to open the door? Nope, he takes that long, usually. How the shit did you know that, nerdy Joe? Did you Google it already? Why would I Google something that's so self-explanatory? Here we go again. How many times do we have to tell you that timing isn't something that's self-explanatory? Then let me prove it to you. On three clap, Donald. One, two, three. That wasn't on point at all. How long are you going to keep proving yourself wrong, Joey? It's not my fault that Donald is a dumbass and can't time his clap. I strictly said on three. Why did you wait an extra second? That's the timing that everyone does. Here, Barack, on three, clap. One, two, three. What do you have to say now, Sleepy Joe? All right, I admit it. I got... I took an educated guess, and it happened to be correct. You said Gog. Did you mean Google, Nerdy Joe? Because we all know you did. I swear I haven't. To be fair, I'm starting to remember the first time I beat this level. I didn't know the exact timing, but I could feel it. Google did or not, we're currently at 4 a.m., and we need to win this time, because that will mean we first tried every level so far. Good luck first trying the basement level. Well, guess what? If we manage to first try all the levels until the basement level, I'll make sure Wakey Joe is here to first try it. When is the basement level, Brock? The next level is the office, and the one after is the basement. Then I'll be there. I have no plans then. No, we don't want any more of you. We want Wakey Joe back. Did any of y'all keep track of which step Bonnie is on right now? I haven't. No need to scream, dude. Anyways, that was the third step. Freddy still needs some time to reset, and Foxy is far away. Can you go check on Bonnie as he might be at the fourth or even fifth step? All right, Mr. Safety Measures. There you go. Do you believe me now? I never said I don't believe you. I just doubted your ability to keep track of so many things at the same time while ranting about future levels. Which is outstanding, to be honest. Why do both of you sound so jealous? Run, Foxy is at the door. I still have plenty of time, but I'm gonna play it safe. And that was the fourth step. Wait, what if it's the fifth? Is Bonnie gonna open the door while Foxy is here? No, he won't. He'll wait for him to close the door and open his door immediately after that. Which means he actually is on the fourth step. So you were doubting me? I've said it once, and I'm more than glad to say it again. You're as trustworthy as a not-toasted toast. How can you have a not-toasted toast in the first place? Shush, I need to focus. What do you need to focus on? Both Foxy and Freddy are far away. Once Bonnie closes the door, go back to freezing Foxy. Nah, I'm gonna play it safe and wait for Freddy. See, I told you. Why are we blinking? Are we high? No, Sleepy Joe. We're at 5 a.m. The game becomes darker, making it harder to see, and a loud soundtrack plays, so it makes it harder to hear sound cues like the one Bonnie makes. So if you would stop screaming, that would be much appreciated. I never scream. You just did. Did anyone keep track of Bonnie's steps? I didn't. Neither did I. Then I'll go check the keyhole once Foxy is gone. Be quick about it. They move a lot quicker now. And even Bonnie should be doing more steps in a shorter amount of time. You guys tell me which step he's on, because I don't know them. I'm quite sure that's step zero, even though I believe his first step doesn't show him either. 
Nope, that is step zero. His stages are not shown, only eyes, upper body, hands near keyhole and peeking through the keyhole. Joe, you're literally holding your phone. Yeah, and I'm not trying to be secretive about it. I don't want to retry this level. Honestly, I'm not even mad. I'm with Joe on this one. Is it just me or is this hour taking so long? That's the first step. And I'm pretty sure that you were the one mocking Joe for complaining about how long an hour is in this game. Look how the turns have tabled. I mean, how the tables have tabled. I mean, we know what you mean, Joey. Can you shut up now so I actually finish this game first try? The sound of silence is like a gentle whisper of tranquility enveloping the air. Since when did you become Gen Z's Shakespeare? Not important right now. Was that step one? Yeah, that was. I can't believe Joe was correct. And that was the second step, if you couldn't hear it. Why are you giving him credit when he was Googling it right in front of us? Would you prefer us to lose and have to retry? To be completely honest, no. But still, Googling is so lame. It's not as if we do it in every single game. Guys, do you actually Google every single game we play? Um, let's frickin' go. First try, baby. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notifications button. I still can't believe I've been lied to my entire life. Don't act as if you don't Google some games too, Barack. Uh, um, bye. All right, boys. Today we're playing the third night in the joy of creation. I wonder which Joe we're gonna get this time. Let us know your guesses down in the comments. Can we start already? I've only slept 25 hours today. You know what, Joey? I'm not even gonna ask. Let's just dive straight in. For years, I've thought that what I saw was just a bad dream. Something that couldn't possibly have been real. Why would it? Monstrous beings coming to get a helpless child from the shadows, poking their heads out from under the bed, peeking through the closet. Just a usual nightmare for a kid, right? No matter how real it felt. Well, most of what came after is foggy. Felt more like a dream than the actual nightmare itself. Um, Mom came to rescue me, picked me up and carried me away. I was scared for my life. It was the scariest moment of my life, for sure. I've never been a crybaby, though. Even when I was a kid, people have told me they've never seen me cry, or yell, or even scream. So even if I was terrified during all of it, I would have been silent the entire time. But that was the strangest thing about that night. Even though I never made a peep, as I was being taken outside by my mother, away from the nightmare. I still vividly remember hearing my own screams. Nick? Nick? What is happening? This isn't, this isn't real. Just dreaming. None of this is real. Ah! God. Ready? Ready? What are you doing? What are you afraid to do? Oh, God! What is this? Help! Somebody help! Bell! Nick! Anthony! Sam! Where are you? What is going on? Monsters are around the house. Here's your trusty flashlight to slay them with. We hide from the monsters. They were we to run. So we hid where you always tell us to hide. Much love, Nick, Sam, and Anthony. Hmm. Well, that was cool. Yeah, this part never gets old. Can you play this time, Barack? But then it would be too easy. 
Since pretty much Donald played last night, how about you play this one? I played last night. The game has already started, Sleepy Joe. No time to argue. Oh, crap. I accidentally skipped the tutorial. We're dead, boys. I'm pretty sure the whole reason I'm here is to teach you guys how to play the game, right? Can you stop the chit-chatting and explain already? They're going to show up any time now, I suppose. Well, as you can see, there are three monitors connected to security cameras, each one in the corresponding room. When Foxy appears, he makes a knocking sound. You need to look at him with the camera to make him go away. Sounds easy enough. Joe, every time you pick up the controller, the nights keep getting easier and easier. That knock was Foxy. Check all cams. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Mommy. Ha! Joe? <laughs> Seems like I'll have to complete another night. And that is Freddy? To make him go away, you need to get up and open the door he's at. I swear to God, Barack, if this is a prank, I did not expect that at all. See? Can you trust me now? Now check each cam for Freddy. When Foxy comes, he'll make a noise. Are there only two animatronics in this night? Nope, there are four, just like all the other nights. Now Chica is a bit complicated. She's gonna come inside through the wall, and you need to look around the room and find all three cupcakes before she comes in. What about Bonnie? Which door does he come from? He could come at any door. He doesn't jump scare you. But if you look at him with a camera, he'll break it. So you'll need to check for Freddy manually. All right, you can go now to give Joe his pills. I wonder which Joe are we getting today. Come on, Joe, please don't turn into Michael Jokeson this time. Wait, before you go, Foxy was on the left. I should open that door too, right? No, look at him with a camera. That was way too close of a close call, Barack. Aha, I see what you did there. Chica appeared again. Shut up, dude, I know what I'm doing, but wait. What did Barack say Chica did again? Break the cameras? No, that doesn't sound right. We're back. How are you holding up? Pretty solid, but what did you say about Chica? Comes in through the wall, and you need to find three cupcakes. Speak of the devil. That looks like a cupcake to me. And which Joe are you? What do you mean, which Joe? I've always been the same Joe my entire life. Are you feeling sleepy? No, why? Do you like ice cream? Everyone likes ice cream. Oh, thank God. But I've got diabetes, so I don't eat it. Who the f are you? And what exactly are you doing in our house? Are you a CIA agent? No, you know how much carbon emissions are caused by the CIA alone? Ooh, you're Wokey Joe today. Hold on a second. Carbon emissions, what do you think the CIA stands for? Cigarette Igniting Agency. Hey, Joe, what are your thoughts on progressive policies? I think we should push them even further. Stop the chit-chatting. Chica just came again. Get rid of Foxy and Freddy first, and then deal with Chica. All right, let me go flash Freddy. Why are you flashing a poor animal in the eyes? Would you like someone to do it to you? Okay, Wokey Joe, picture this. You're in a weird house and monsters are trying to rip you into pieces. What are you gonna do? I would prioritize understanding and empathy instead of resorting to violence. I believe in engaging in dialogue, finding common ground, and working towards peaceful resolutions that respect the dignity and well-being of everyone involved. You physically can't be more liberalistic than this, Wokey Joe. Hold on, I need to focus. Freddy is kind of hard to spot. Sounds like a you problem. Aha, I found him. How can you find it hard to spot Freddy? He has glowing eyes and stands in the same spot every time. Wait a second, is it just me or do they teleport between doors? That's how they move. Do you have a problem with that? No, I meant that they appear in two doors at the same time. They do that, it's normal. Well, in a world where pieces of metal- Broke it, the bastard broke the camera. Damn it, I, Bonnie just broke the camera. I, I, I don't know what happened, he just appeared and as soon as I realized he was there, he just took it down in one swing. They don't do that. What's blood yapping about? Bonnie, which I'm pretty sure you said won't jump scare us, but will break the cameras. And we'll need to check if Freddy is there manually. Exactly. And also, Foxy won't go where broken cameras are. I've got an idea. I'll check each camera for Foxy first, and then go check where Bonnie is so I don't let him break any cameras. That's smart, except that Bonnie hasn't made his first move yet. How did you know that, Obama? Because he makes a sound just like the one in the living room memory. That was yesterday's level, right? I'm pretty sure that's a loud and clear answer, dumbass. Bonnie is very tricky. I heard him going to the left and then to the right, but Foxy came at the same time, so you need to get rid of Foxy first. Am I tripping, or is there a weird kid song playing right now? Yeah, it's Loki scary. Don't worry about it, Wokey Joe. It's just ambiance. And I've got a question for you. What do you do when your neighbor doesn't let you steal their packages? I scream at him, fall to the ground, and pretend as if he hit me. Now you're becoming Karen Joe? Wait a sec. What do you do if- Oh my god, I thought we were dead there. Back to what I was saying. What do you do if you ask for a big fries and a Diet Coke? and the cashier tells you that they are out of stock. 
I kindly and gently ask to speak to their manager. What would the manager even do to you? Karen Joe confirmed. Even though I hate Karens, I'm enjoying this conversation. Hey Joe, what do you do if someone is trying to park in the last spot of a parking area? I kindly stand in that space and gently block their car until my friend parks there. You just made a huge mistake, little fella. Words can't describe how disgusted I am right now. All this time, you've been a parking spot blocker? Goodbye, Wokey Joe. Wait, wait, I can explain. My two-year-old grandson was in the scorching heat, and the AC was broken. We needed to park somewhere so we could get out of the car. Not convincing enough. I'll give you another chance. Make it count. Chill out, Donald. Don't you think it's more important to deal with Chica right now? Maybe it's not your time yet, Wokey Joe. You have until the end of this memory to get the heck out of this house. I have rights and I'm not going anywhere. I would strongly suggest you take that advice and get as far away from this house. Maybe even get out of the state. Heck, even get the frick out of America. I thought you were on my side. That couldn't have been any further from the truth. All right, all right, I'm leaving. And I'm also calling the police. Actually, scratch that. I'm just going to go. Finally, I can focus on beating the level. This one is actually very easy. I still strongly believe that the first three levels keep getting easier, but trust me, the last level is a real one. So Bonnie is in the middle. Can you keep track of that? All right, even though the level's pretty much done and him breaking the camera isn't even that much of a problem, you won't need to worry about Foxy coming from that door, so that's a plus. He went to the right now. And also, I would prefer to check for Freddy using the cameras instead of having to go door by door. That's pretty much just personal preference. And I'm quite sure that's also how the game is meant to be played. You don't need to tell me that he's on the left. And also, you can actually just ignore Chica completely now. She doesn't have enough time, I'm pretty sure. I would like to play it safe. Foxy is nowhere nearby. And if I open a door and Freddy is there, then that's no problem. Tomorrow is the basement level. Do you remember how we got Joe to be Wakey Joe? You were the one who gave him his pills. And whatever you did today, don't do it again. Well, there goes our middle camera. What's up, boys? Want to go get some ice cream? Yay, Sleepy Joe is back. I never would have thought in a lifetime that I would be glad to see you again. Sleepy Joe, sure, we can get ice cream. Let's go, another first try. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notifications button. See ya. All right, boys, today we're playing the fourth night of the joy of creation, the basement. You know what, Donald? If you beat this first try, I'm going to give you $1,000. All three of us are presidents. What's a thousand bucks? You know what? That's still a challenge, and I accept it. All right, then let's head straight into it. Do you believe in spirits? Many do. Many claim they've seen one or have heard stories of people being haunted by these white figures or oily shadows. My dad made a game series about it. A, a horror franchise, in fact. It was his shining achievement. Apparently, there was a time when everybody knew about it, all over the world. Clothing, toys, accessories, board games, you name it. Five Nights at Freddy's was everywhere. There were even rumors of it getting a movie. <laughs> well, it didn't last long anyway. Nobody remembers it anymore, nor the characters, the games, or my father. After that night, it all went away. Nothing lasts forever, and that's why I don't believe in spirits. Everyone has to die. Everything has an end at some point. Even if that point comes sooner than you'd wish. Hello? Kids? Are any of you there? I found your note. Daddy's here. You must be really scared, but, but I'm here. Why are you doing this to us? Why? Just leave us all alone, you monsters! I created you. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. How, how is this happening? What are you? You are not them. You're just using their faces. What are you? You are creation. <laughs> Sorry. Was that Michael that knocked us out? I'm not totally sure, but it did sound like him. Let's go already. I want to go sleep. You just woke up, Sleepy Joe. 
Anyways, let me prove to Obama that I can first try anything. Boy, oh boy. Are we going to get the world record for dying in the least amount of time? Yeah. Speed run losing, basically. First try that, Don. You guys are hilarious. Why don't you go make a wakey Joe until this cutscene is over? I'm out of heart pills and dementia pills and heart pills. You don't say. Whoa, why is the basement so much bigger? You are awake. I always skip this dialogue and finish the level right away. That's why you don't know anything about the lore. You exist to let us out. Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy. I don't have a single clue of what this means. Let us out? Did they just repeat you? Open the way. What way, animatronics? Or burn with the rest of them. Oh my god. This is starting to make so much more sense now. What do you mean by that? I don't want to spoil anything for you, but you'll get it in the next memory. So basically, what am I supposed to do now? That's the point of this memory. You're supposed to figure it out. Do something wrong and you're sleeping with the fishies. I don't like to sleep in water. It's cold. It's not literal, Sleepy Joe. Plus, the water gets relatively warm after some time. You'll still get hypothermia if you try to sleep in water, assuming you don't drown. Aha! I found the door. This memory is so darn easy. That's instant karma right there. Who's laughing in my ears? I think that is Golden Freddy. And that's not karma, Joe. That's called dramatic timing. Um, Barack, help! I think Golden Freddy got me. Nope, you're fine. That's a part of the level. Are there jump scares in this level, Barack? Ah! Uh, man the F up, Joey. He's standing still. I don't even think he can kill us. Yes, he can. Oh! Guys, are you still there? Donald? Well, I guess I'm gonna yoink that controller then. Ouch! Don't you dare touch my controller. Well, how about this? If I don't first try it, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Okay, Mr. Beast, go ahead then. You should be scared, Don. Barack said he beat the game countless times before. No, I didn't mean to bet. Because if it was a bet, it wouldn't be fair for him. So it's like that? Not gonna lie, bets are stupid. Why would you risk your money when there's a 50% chance you'll lose it all? Bro is spitting. Anyways, watch and learn, noobs. Yeah, to be fair, Joe's correct. First thing in this room is that you need to take this hat. Whoa, is that another monster? They're called endos, and that's a mouth endo. We don't need to worry about him unless we get too close. And we need to put the hat in the furnace, so we need to get rid of him by going upstairs. Sounds easy enough. Hold on a second. So the endo that killed us was because we got too close to him? Yeah, and that's why I didn't get jump scared. I knew it was coming. Is it just me or is something growling at us? You are correct, and we're going to it next. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Barack. Trust me, dude. I've done this a lot of times before. I know what I'm doing. All right, now what? And now we wait. Oh! Joe, you little wuss, how did that scare you? Anyhow, after the cupcake, we go to the closet and bring the guitar out and put it straight into the furnace. How long is this level? Don't worry, we're bringing the last item. We need to go to the garbage can and get the hook out of it and also put it in the furnace. What's that sound? I'm not sure, I ignore it every time. Although, if you try to go back to the bathroom, an endo will kill you. So is that it? Am I not getting a thousand bucks? <laughs> this is so easy, Donald can do it. This is only room 05. There are still four more rooms and they get more difficult each time. So you're telling me there's something harder than this? Pretty much everything else is way harder than this. Oh boy, I hope I don't get another heart attack. What are we gonna do now? In this room, an endo which can only move while you're not looking at him will spawn. Spoilers. If you want to solve the puzzle of this keypad on your own, then skip 10 seconds. And what do we need to do in this one? There's a key next to the stairs that's locked and we need to open another keypad to get to it. The only catch is that if we're not quick enough, the endo will get us. But you've done this countless times before. We should be in safe hands, right? Well, as long as I don't panic or anything, we should be fine. I think I saw him. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe. I'm pretty sure we'll have a really good look at him in a second. Yup, as the only way to beat this level is by staring at him. What are you doing? Won't he kill us like this? No, I'm trying to lure him as far as possible so I have enough time to unlock the second keypad. If you get too close to this one, do you also die? I've never tried, and I'm not willing to. Although, I'm quite sure yes, but his radius is so much smaller than the mouths. What do you mean by the mouths? The other endo, Joe! You'll get to see him again in Floro, too. I guess this is the part where our lives are on the line, like literally. Speak for yourself. I've taken my anti-Joe pills today, and I'm pretty sure they double as heart pills, too. That was way too close, Obama. I'm starting to doubt your experience. That is not close at all. They move very slowly. Besides, I now have him locked. All I have to do is flick to the right and take the key. So I beat this floor, too. <laughs> where did he go? Is he behind us? Are we dead? Chill out, dude. 
All the endos disappear once the floor's objective is achieved. And this next floor is pretty much the easiest out of all of them. All you have to do is just hold forward. I'm pretty sure there's a catch here. There's no catch here. Other than if you want to get the newspaper, you'll have to go back right as the lights turn on and look where the endo is gonna be coming from, which will result in a jump scare, but there's no other way to do it. Endo, wait, what endo? A new type of endo called <laughs> the running endo reminds me of Foxy. He only spawns on this floor though, so we don't need to worry about him as long as we head straight to the door at the end of this hallway. Hold on a frickin' minute. Is that the sound of him running after us far in the background? Exactly, Sleepy Joe. But as I've said, the game times it perfectly, so as long as you hold forward and don't look back, you'll make it right in time. Is this the last floor, Obamna? No, this is floor 03. We still have two more floors to go through, and this next one is pretty tough, not gonna lie. I think he got us, I think we're dead. As I've said, it even leaves a few seconds to make time for if your finger accidentally slipped or something. Can you give us a quick brief of what's gonna happen in this level? I will, right after this small dialogue. We act, we pose, we play, we store, we stare, we scream. We bring his visions to life. Who could that be? Because that's how we live? I'm guessing these are the fallen? Feeding from the joy of creation. That's the name of the game, and burning what remains. This is the part where everyone should brace themselves. That was a close call. That actually scared the living crap out of me. How about you, Sleepy Joe? Well, let me give you a quick brief of what's gonna happen now. There are two endos, which I believe are called the eyeless, which I need to lure them as far as possible. So at the end of the level, I have enough time to go around a third eyeless endo, which right behind him will be the staircase. Once I go up, the memory is over. I'm sure that's not as simple as it sounds. It's not as simple as it sounds, but it's also not as hard as you think. Also, you were speaking about the fallen back there and the eyeless, I didn't get anything. The Fallen are these Endos and another guy called Creation, which will be introduced in the attic. These are Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, and Chica without the skin, and they're currently in a paranormal world, and they're using us to let them out into the real world. You didn't say anything about those two Endos in the middle. I'm guessing they are mouth Endos, right? That's correct, and I might have made it look easy to go around them, but trust me, it's not. You need to be very precise with your movement to get around them. Oh my God, I just woke up and there are endos everywhere. What are we gonna do, Barack? Simply go around this one and to the staircase. I'm guessing that means we just beat the basement. Let's go, boys. No, we didn't beat the basement. I beat the basement. So are you just gonna take all the credit for all of our hard work, Obama? That's very unethical and dishonest. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. We gotta give credit where it's due. He did all the work, but it would have been for nothing if not for us to sit here and watch him do it. So it's 50-50. 50-50, my ass. You're making me think of quitting right now, so you have to keep trying over and over for weeks until you get it. All right, I'm sorry. You did all the work. We did nothing but watch. All right, now I'm happy. Should I keep bracing myself, or is it over-over? Don't worry, Joey. It's over-over. No more jump scares. Do you think you can get the world record for beating the basement in the least amount of time, Barack? You literally run out of breath using that long-ass term. Just say speed run. And no, I've not dedicated enough to compete with the top players. Finally, there it is. The frickin' door is finally open. Well, this has been one heck of a ride. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And hit that notifications button. That's it, see ya. All right, boys, welcome back to the fifth and final night of the joy of creation. Dang, it's been a while. It's because this level is just so flipping hard. Do you want us to explain it to you again, Sleepy Joe? I can barely remember what I had for dinner tomorrow, so yeah, please. So basically, in front of us is a monitor with two switches, the left switch switches between the house cameras and the attic cameras. And that right there was Golden Freddy. We need to flash him, I believe, 12 times to win. Anyways, the switch on the right is what flashes either Golden Freddy, which gets us closer to winning, or Creation, which resets him to the beginning of the level he's at. And for the attic monsters, there are four endos, AKA creepy old metallic monsters, two on each side. One of them makes a sound, and the other we can only see in the attic camera. We also need to remember, which you really shouldn't even bother to try, Sleepy Joe, to check behind us if we can't see Golden Freddy on any cam. Here, listen closely. That's a running endo, AKA, a sound making endo. He's on our left now, so we need to have that door shut. Usually, but not always, they alternate to make the game more challenging. 
Besides, once we turn around, it's easier for me personally to shut the left door instead of the right one. So I like to have the right door shut all the times and have the attic camera set to the left endo. That way I only have to check the left side as the right side is shut all the time. This is confusing, Donald. My left or your left? Both our lefts are on the same side, dumbass. Just see what I'm doing and you'll get it. Creation is now in the middle of the basement. Once he reaches the end, he breaks some of his way up to the living room and goes back to the beginning of the basement. So basically, he needs to go through each level twice. So to sum up, flashing creation resets him. Flashing Golden Freddy gets us closer to winning. If we hear a running endo, we close his door and we need to check the attic cam frequently for silent endos. Capiche? Did you seriously use Capiche in 2024, Donald? Do you know how racist it is? You're so white, it's not even funny, Joe. I get that using other language words is not racist, but how is Joe being white related to any of this? You should be able to observe white people's action as you're not one of them. That boom vine doesn't make any sense. That wasn't even an insult. Yeah, you better take it back. My intentions were to insult, bring the boom vine back. What were we even talking about? About you being so white, you get offended for other races for things that doesn't even bother them for Flip's sake. There's Golden Freddy. I saw him already dip shit. Can we try to be nice to each other once? We've already tried that before and it went horribly, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Hey, Barack, you don't look as shit today as every other single day. Thanks, Donald. That actually means a lot to me. You also don't look as fat today as every other day. What? Screw it, I guess we're cursed by being bad to each other for the rest of eternity. By the rest of eternity, do you mean until next year, you fossil? To be honest, I think I'll make it to 80. Why did you guys go quiet all of a sudden? Um, maybe because you're 81. <laughs> nice one. Well, since you're such a bad friend that you can't even remember your best friend's age, I'm 54. First of all, I'm not your best friend. Second, you were 54 about 27 frickin' years ago. If none of us are you best friend, then who is? Richard and Howard. Who the f is Richard? Don't act like you even know Howard, at least. Who are these people, Don? You guys aren't businessmen to have such great connections. They are real estate agents. Anyways, has anyone been counting how many times we've flashed Golden Freddy so far? If you think about it, it doesn't really matter. The best strategy here is to keep creation as far as possible until the fire catches the bedroom. Then you can start full focusing Golden Freddy with little to no flashing creation. How do you know when a silent endo is gonna rush? Both the silent endos have three states. The first state is them not being there at all. They won't appear on the camera. The second one is them appearing on the screen, which we need to pay as much attention to this one as possible, because the third one is them attacking, which will show a black screen. We don't have much time until they actually attack, which is why we need to keep switching to the attic screen as frequently as possible. These endos almost have as much states as you've won, Joey. Ha ha ha. We both know it's rigged for me to win. Don, you can laugh now, knowing that both of us know who's going to have the last laugh. Joe, we're recording, you dumb idiot. Oh, shit. It's totally not rigged, and I will win fair and square. You winning proves that it's all rigged. Nobody likes you, kid sniffer. And also look at what you've done to America. You've flooded our great country with immigrant, which I'll send back home once I win the elections. Do you consider that to be a heroic act? No, you terrorizing third world countries for some oil is what I consider a heroic act. Don't act like you didn't do horrible shit, Don. We all did, Joe. That's what it takes to be a McFrickin' president, and you know it. And you were calling out Joe for forgetting that we were recording. All of our shits are stained on the internet, Obama. When you think about it, we're quite doomed. Not when you are ruling a bunch of idiots who don't even know what continent they are standing on. What the heck do you mean by a continent? How on earth did you even get to your position, Sleepy Joe? Um, I guess I just walked here. He meant your political position as a president. Oh, it's simple. You just agree to do to what they tell you to, piece of cake. I agreed, and look at me now. Chill out, guys. I meant how did you get to this continent? He was born here, dipshit. No, he wasn't. He was born in Pennsylvania. That's a state. Ah! Did we just kill him with our higher form intelligence? How on earth are his hands still moving? And he's doing all the correct movement as well. He's an ultra gamer. Thank you, thank you. Also, a McMonkey is smarter than your ass, Biden. Why do you have to add Mac before anything and everything? Who the heck even are you? You never call me Biden. Wait, is he possessed? I can't with you guys anymore. Let me just finish the damn level so we can all go our separate ways. Are you leaving us, Donnie? Are you expecting me to sleep over? Ain't no way in a million years. Donald, you gotta face it. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> Joe owns the White House now. Besides, you sleep here every single day. And it's not as if we are more annoying today than every other day. So why did you pick today? Because you're dumber than every other day. I don't know if it was the sh or the pill, but I've certainly reached my breakpoint with you guys.
I'm quite sure it is actually breaking point and not break point, dumb dumb, and you call us dumb. How are you dumber yet nerdier today, Joe? How is this even possible? You're literally breaking the fabric of everything that we know as it is. Maybe we should start focusing on the game. The fire reached the bedroom and even the office, and now it's here in the attic. I'm quite sure we shouldn't flash creation anymore, right? On paper, if everything goes smoothly, yes, but unfortunately this game is something else and is dependent on RNG, so we could sit here for ages waiting to flash Golden Freddy for the last couple of times. <laughs> I'm quite sure we should be one flash away from winning. We finally did it, boys. Don't be so sure. As I've said, we could do one simple mistake like forgetting to check the attic cameras for too long or missing a flash. How bad do you need to be to miss a flash, Don? Michael Jackson bad. But in all seriousness, though, Golden Freddy could move right before a flash. OK, focus up, Donnie. Remember, always check the attic and use the flash ASAP. You're talking to me as if I haven't been doing that for like 10 minutes just now and for days before. Also using the flash ASAP isn't really the best idea. I should save it until I see Golden Freddy or until creation is about to break another obstacle. This is Golden Freddy's last flash, so save it until he appears. Creation still has the office to go through. Good call. Let me lock in, boys. GG's. Finally, we're done with this damn level. I'm so done with this game, man. Yo, guys, am I late to the party? Well, we just finished the last night of the game. I guess you can say the outro. I guess I can. In your dreams, little bro. All right, boys, that's going to be it for today's video. Did you forget about the final cutscene, Donald? Oh, yeah, you're right. Shut up, everyone. Dang, well that's going to be it for this series. Let us know in the comments which games you want to see us play next. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And send this video to your friend who snores too loud. That's it, see ya.